that even mean, Bowers Game Boy Club? Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another How to Play video. And today I'm very excited to teach you how to play Mantis from the team behind Exploding Kittens. This is for two to six players. Take about 10 minutes to play, and it's for ages seven plus. And I do want to mention right from the get-go, there's some slightly modified two-player rules that I'll mention at the end of the video, but you still need to watch everything if you're playing two players. First thing you're going to do, though, take all the cards, shuffle them up, and then deal four cards to each player. You're going to flip these over to the white side, which will have the animal, and you're going to group them up by color like I've done right now in this three-player game. Next, you're going to randomly decide who goes first, so we'll just say this player is going to go first for now, and then on your turn, you're going to do only one thing. You're either going to try to score or try to steal. If you try to score, that means you're going to take the top card of the deck and you're going to put it into your area. If you try to steal, that means you're going to take the top card off this deck and you're going to put it into someone else's area. But let's talk about how scoring works first. So if you're trying to score, that means you're going to put this card into your area. It's either going to give you an extra card down here, an extra color, or if you happen to match a color you already have, you're going to score those points. So looking at this card right now, we know that on the other side, it's either going to be a blue animal, a green animal, or a pink animal. And we have three blue here, and this would be super nice because if it is a blue mantis, we will score not only this card, but these three cards as well, and we'll have four points, and you only need 10 points to win, so we would try and score this. And unfortunately, it's green, but fortunately, it stays in this area, and now now, if we happen to get a green card next time, we will score for our greens. But that's our entire turn, and it moves on to the next player. To the left, and once again, they have the choice. Are they going to try and score, or are they going to try and steal? So they're going to try and steal, because what they see right here is, this is either going to be green, yellow, or orange, and they have green and yellow over here, so they're like, you know what, we're going to try and steal, and sure enough, it was a green. So that means that this player right here has now stolen these. Now, they don't go into your score pile, which is going to be right underneath your area, but they do go in here, and they can be potentially scored next time you try to score. Now, let's redo that scenario, though, and let's pretend that we had done this, and it was, in fact, a color that did not match into the other colors. Well, this actually benefits our opponent, then, because now they add this to their area, and they're more likely to score when they try to score. And that's actually what they're going to do right now. So they're going to flip this over hoping that it's not red because they have purple and they have green and sure enough it's purple so they would take these two cards and they now put them into their scoring pile which is right underneath your face up cards the number of rainbows you have is how many points you have the first person to get to 10 points wins the game immediately and that's it on your turn you're either going to try and score or you're going to try and steal and always remember that if you steal the cards don't go into your score pile they go into your main area now, a few minor rules before I get you out of here. If you ever run out of cards in your main area, you just keep playing, and on your turn, you're going to try and steal so you can gain some cards in your main area. Also, if the draw pile ever runs out, the player with the most cards in their score pile wins, and if there's a tie, the tied player with the most cards in their main area wins, and if there's still a tie, then you share the victory. But that's how you're going to play the game. But last but not least, we need to talk about those two-player rules I mentioned a little bit earlier. First, instead of going to 10 points, you're going to go to 15 points. Also, if you choose to steal from your opponent and you successfully steal, you get to steal those cards, but you also get to take another turn. And you can keep doing this as long as every time you're stealing, you're stealing something from your opponent. But that is Mantis from Exploding Kittens. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing as I teach new games all the time. But go have some fun and thanks for your time, this YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters. And I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.